What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we're back with some War Thunder. Today we got a story time about how one player wanted to prove that the Challenger 2 was so wrong in-game that he posted classified documents to try to get it fixed. Oh yes, we have some fun stuff today. Alright, we all know, and this is why you don't really see Challenger 2s used too much top tier. Top tier, War Thunder, Challenger 2s, both variants, are dog shit. Dog shit. The worst vehicles you could possibly use. Like, look, we got a T-72 B3. I'm going to show you. Show you this. Look at all that green! Those are all penetrations. Look at that. Look at this one. Ammo, cannon barrel, loader, gunner, cannon breach. Dead. Tank's dead, bro. This thing sucks. Everybody hates it. It's the freaking worst, dude. It's the worst thing ever. This whole freaking tank is horrendous to use. And listen... Like, I get it. There are a lot of Chally 2 fanboys. I get it. I get it. We're going to talk about that, too, because it's part of the problem. And um, kind of tell the story of what's going on, what happened, and why this guy's life is ruined for no fucking reason. All right. So, on the space of the Challenger 2, I understand it. Like, there are a lot of Chally 2 fanboys. I constantly used to get in arguments with people when we play War Thunder when I'd say this tank sucks. They'd be like, but in real life, it's never been penetrated. And I'm quick to remind them that an RPG-29 has penetrated a Chally 2 and injured someone, the driver inside. But, you know, sometimes people are like, nah, that never happened. It doesn't count. It's it's whatever, man. There's some big-time Chally, Chally 2 fanboys, just like there is T-Series fanboys and Abrams fanboys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you right now, all tanks suck. They're fucking useless nowadays. So, beyond that point. In War Thunder, this tank sucks so fucking bad that nobody uses it anymore. And I tell everyone, don't grind this freaking tank. Don't grind the British tree because it's just not even worth it. It's just, you'll by the time you're done and you're like, finally, I get top tier, I get the Chally 2, you'll uninstall the game and literally hate the time that you wasted for it. There is a huge thread of people arguing about getting this thing fixed, all right? And... It's back and forth, always, you know, screaming, get this tank fixed, get this tank fixed. And it's kind of hard to do because, basically, you kind of have to guesstimate with this stuff. All this stuff's still fucking classified. Nobody knows the actual armor composition. Nobody knows, really, the full details of the interior layout, stuff like that. It's all classified, and Gaijin just has to make educated guesses and make the tank as best as they possibly can. Even with the round penetrations and stuff like that, this is what you get in the modern era, man. Every, everything's fucking classified. I mean, this is why this is why we only have the Legacy Hornet and DCS, not the Super Hornet, because the Super Hornet is classified. So we get into this th this shit. So some asshole claiming to be a um, a tank commander for the British for the tank regiment, and I think he was actually said he was stationed in. Let me scroll up here and read Tidsworth Camp, which apparently is the Royal Tank Regiment area. So this guy said, all right, your whole fucking layout's wrong. Let me show you this thing. So he posts this freaking AESP, which is like a, a freaking, like the actual manual of this thing. It shows like the, the actual tank manual. Throws it on out there, and of course, on it is stamped classified. Well, this dumb dumb crosses it out and stamps unclassified. Well, it said restricted, crosses it out, and it stamps unclassified on it. Well, post it all up showing, hey, guys, and you're wrong because you better fuck, fix my favorite fucking tank, guys. Fix my favorite tank. Gaijin has been through this before. The developers of War Thunder have been down this road. They immediately see it, say, all right, hold on. Contact the Ministry of Defense, who quickly says, uh, no, that's classified. Um, that shouldn't be unclassified. There's no reason to have an unclassified stamp on it. Yeah, so Gaijin immediately takes, takes it down. Takes care of it. You know, it disappears. Okay? Because they're doing their due diligence. They've been down this road before. They don't want to get in trouble for some stupid person posting classified material. This dum dum wanted his tank to be the best thing ever in War Thunder so fucking hard that he violated the official Secrets Act and faces a 14 year prison sentence. Why? Because the Challenger 2 sucks in the game. Like, listen, I understand fanboying about crap. Understand it completely, man. When shit's not not right, I do it all the time with guns and Tarkov and even certain things that I that I'm specific with. There ain't no fucking reason to throw your white life away for 
well, you can say wife too. I know I misspoke. <laughs> no reason to throw any of it away for a fucking video game, let alone top tier War Thunder. Holy fuck. Man, what a rocket scientist. Oh, I tell you what. So this asshole is going to prison. Definitely. And on top of it all, someone asked, Hey, Gaijin, since we have the actual numbers and everything and the layout, are you going to fix it and change it to the actual numbers? And they said, no, because it's not an official source and it's not credible. <laughs> so all that fucking work, the guy's going to go to 14 years of prison and all this work, and Gaijin ain't even going to fix the tank to the specs that, they, that he posted to it. Amazing. What a fucking dumbass. I can't even believe it, dude. Like, listen, all right. This happens time and time again. Like, I have been privy to some classified information myself um, that I still know to this day. And I'm not even going to fucking bother saying it because it's no point. Why Why are you going to go to prison for what? For, for what? Some stupid specification of a weapon system that doesn't even matter? I mean, Jesus Christ. I mean, for this guy could have posted those documents and gotten 50K from the, from the Russians if he wanted to. But he instead chooses to throw it on a forum for a video game so it can fix his favorite tank. It's amazing. Like, listen, I'll tell you this. For the guys that go into the military, you will come across in your time, no matter what MOS you are, infantry or whatnot, you will come across privy classified information at some point. At some point. OPSEC's a real fucking thing. Um, if you remember not too long ago, some, uh, some mariner decided to take selfies inside the reactor room of his nuclear sub and got dishonorably discharged and is probably going to prison kind of thing. Stupid shit like this is how you go to jail for, for no reason. Pay attention to what you're doing with classified information. Um, if you have knowledge, don't share it. Especially not to a video game. Who the fuck cares about a video game? I don't care how the Challenger 2 does in War Thunder. I don't care that the Abrams gets fucking shit on constantly. Abrams is my country's tank. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I'm not going to go out and find a classified manual and post it just so they, they make the Abrams good. No, it, it's not. Why? Like, I just don't understand the thinking of this, man. I really don't understand the thinking. This guy went and just went, Hail married. I'm going to chuck this football over a mountain to get this tank fixed. It's going to get 14 years in prison, and the tank doesn't get fixed. For what reason? I just don't understand it. I can't get it. I This is this is where we got to stop with the tank fanboying, okay? My tank's better than yours. This tank won't kill this tank. This... Dude, it's so bad at the War Thunder community, it's not even funny, man. Like, I get it. It, it reminds me of, like, the ARAK community. Everybody's got that, that rivalry, like, mine's better than yours, this is better than that, kind of thing. Ooh, with tanks, man, you get some real heated armchair generals. And this guy's like, hold my fucking beer, I'm gonna shut all of you up, kind of thing. It ain't worth it, dude. It ain't worth it. Listen, there ain't no point crying over this shit. Just fucking enjoy the game. It could be worse. It could be worse, man. Everybody could have E100s. <laughs> but, yeah, this is some stupid shit. I, I honestly do not understand the rationale thinking of this, but this man just chucked his life away. And for no reason whatsoever, man. Whatsoever. And the fact that he... And it, he can't even claim it was accidental because he literally crossed out the restricted and then stamped a fake unclassified. So that just shows, like... It can't. It was not negligence. It was like willfully done. Oh man, dude, there ain't nobody that's gonna defend him in a mil. Well, I don't know how you guys do military courts over there in the UK, but um, yeah, yeah, you might be able to get your own defender outside of the military. I don't know. In the US, it's it's all different stuff. But yeah, I, that's. Oh, it's just so stupid, man. I don't get it. But I do want to applaud Gaijin on handling the situation correctly. That. That's, you know, a lot of people shit on Gaijin and stuff like that, but they looked out not only for the community, but themselves. Because for one, dude, they could have shut this fucking game down in the UK. They could have blocked it from the UK, all kinds of shit if they wanted to. Like, if they, they thought that they was all willful and that Gaijin was the one doing this and they were, they were you know, working with ITAR and, like, materials and shit like that. It was like, dude, they would fuck this shit up so hard. But Gaijin said, fuck no, hold on, let's check this shit, let's contact the proper people and see what's going on, and dude, good on them, man. Like, they're looking out, not only for themselves, but the community. That could have gone really south really quick if they didn't go 
and actually see what was going on um, and contact the right people because they've gone down this road before and there have been game companies that have kind of gotten into trouble. Uh, DCS had kind of an issue not too long ago. War Thunder's gone through this before. So, you know, it is good to see, you know, them taking the responsibility to be like, hey, you know, I know it's the forums and nobody gives a fuck about forums, but, you know, they're monitoring it and they're checking on it and they did a really good job of doing it. So, fuck this guy, first of all, for kind of screwing over your country. You're a dick face for just because of a game. Um, and good on Gaijin for keeping an eye out and, you know, protecting not only the community, but their own fucking property and shit like that. So, word of the wise, if you have classified info, keep it to yourself. Don't try to prove your, prove yourself right in some forum with it because you're just going to end up in a prison. So let me know what you guys think. Questions, comments, concerns. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.